50,000 people used to live here, but now the ancient Roman city of Salona is all but forgotten. In this video, we investigate the amphitheater where gladiators once fought and Should died. Be the entrance. We climb down into the tunnels beneath the arena where supposedly the bodies of fallen gladiators were once dragged away. <laughs> we're in a, I think this is the oldest tunnel we've been in. Yeah. Join us today as we journey into the literal Roman underworld and we see what secrets we can possibly unravel. Ah. It's a mystery. Same. Something comes running out towards us. <laughs> So about that, guys, and welcome to ancient Roman Salona, a town that was on the right side of history during Caesar's civil wars, as they chose his side, and thus prospered over the next several centuries during the Pax Romana, or peace through Rome. We find ourselves here in the amphitheater, but what we are exploring today is what lies hidden beneath it. There should be tunnels where the bodies of fallen gladiators were once drug away, safe from the public eye. And perhaps even the remains of prayer chambers where gladiators once prayed to the god Nemesis, the god of revenge and destiny, before entering possible mortal combat. So join us today we take a journey into the Roman underworld and try not to be corny as fuck. <laughs> the engineer has arrived. <laughs> T, now that the engineer has arrived, I will show you guys where the entrance to the under city is. I'm gonna start referring to you as the engineer. That's, that's yeah. a cool name, right? <laughs> Check this shit out, bro. Let's just move this one first. This is what we're working with. We gotta get down there. Yeah, we can manage this easily. Yeah. Name a problem, huh? Yeah. Get back, boys. It's, it's just enough. Yeah, that's that's. Yeah, I figured that, that should be enough if it wasn't for that hole. Right, there. right. Well, here we take safety as our highest priority. <laughs> nice. All right. I'm do some ninja shit. Yeah. You beat the Asian at ninja shit. <laughs> well, shall we, brother? Yeah. Another adventure awaits. The air seems good. Now, I never asked you guys for Patreon or PayPal or anything like that. But if anybody has a good air sensor and they'd like to donate that, <laughs> that would be <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Dude, this is crazy. I did not expect it to be this. This is fucking nuts, bro. <sighs> you got a match? I don't smoke. Dude. No, <laughs> I don't smoke. <laughs> oh, we are right under the arena. Crazy, bro. Yeah, there's enough air flow in here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're in a, I think this is the oldest tunnel we've been in. Yeah, most definitely the oldest. Oh, fuck. Nah. What the fuck? Ah, nothing. Shit. Is that concrete? It's bricks. Uh, it's filled up. 
God damn it. I got excited. The stock probably collapsed. Yeah. Yeah, solid rock. Yeah, there's no way through that. You should try the other side. Yeah. Take the crawl through the floor. This place might have even been used during the Second World War. Yeah. Like trash keep build keeps uh, building up up the ceiling and that's that. Can you see it over there? It's blocked all the way to the yeah. ceiling. No luck. Yeah, it doesn't branch off. I, I mean, if it goes, uh, wait, I can, uh, check it out. if we go further away, I mean. Always good times with you though, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Better? Yeah. I am fucking out of shape, bro. There should be some tunnels underneath an old Roman bridge over here. Yeah, we're maybe aqueduct tunnels or maybe something else. It's this place, as big as it is, not much is known about it. So let's go take a look there so it's not a complete, complete letdown. So we're heading over to the main part of the city. You can see the old ramparts here. Because I don't want to give you guys a complete bust of a video. If I watched that and I only saw a tunnel, I'd be like, man, fuck this guy. <laughs> but here, I'll give you a bit more of the history of the place as well. Right here we can see old sarcophagi. Sarcophagi, I believe, is the plural of sarcophagus. My buddy noticed something down in the crypt. Necropolis. This is for my guys that can read Latin. Notice there was a Latin inscription on this. If anybody can read this. Maybe like this. Yeah, that's good. From the of oh, the other one? Like this? Yeah, I think this is the best. Right, that's perfect. Nice. Well, if anybody can read that, it would be really interesting to know. Oh, even more. Even more on the lid. Yeah. Oh, dude, walking by this earlier, I didn't even notice. Now, thanks to the experts over at R Latin, I was able to figure out that this is basically a 2,000-year-old love story that reads roughly as follows. To the spirits of the dead, to Publicia Patina, from a city in eastern Italy, an incomparable wife and woman. Her husband writes this for her, since she is so rare, he is grieving. Now that's love written in stone, if you ask me. <laughs> Now they think Salona was the birthplace of Diocletian. And the old city of Split today is what remains of his palace. It's actually built throughout the city. But this is the nearby town where he was from. Now Diocletian was one of the last Roman emperors before the fall of the Western Roman Empire. He was actually the first, and I think the only, to retire. So he could go and plant cabbages in his garden. Now another thing he is known for 
is for his failed persecution of trying to wipe out Christians from the Empire. And back in that arena, which I didn't mention earlier, was where they executed them. You can see here on the walls, hopefully the new headlight is doing a little bit and you guys can see a bit of the remains of the city here. What we're looking for now is those underground chambers that are underneath an old Roman bridge. Now once the Western Roman Empire fell shortly after Diocletian's reign, Rome became what is known today as the Byzantine Empire or Byzantium. Now a note about the term Byzantine Empire. When the Western Roman Empire fell, the Eastern Romans never stopped calling themselves Romans. And they never stopped practicing Roman law. So technically you could say that Rome never fell until 1453 and the fall of Constantinople. But that is a topic of some debate. Here is one of the ancient aqueducts that was in use up until the Middle Ages and beyond. Here is what remains of the Porta Cesaria, or the main entrance of the city, once flanked by two huge watchtowers and a grand arch once would have stood here. One can still see the ancient cart marks through this Roman road. Someone said, fuck history. You know what we call these where I'm from? Ghetto diamonds. <laughs> Perhaps our journey to the Roman underworld is not over yet. See anything over there? Oh, I think I, I may have found it. No, that's just a filled in arch. Ah, you found it. Nice. Time to crawl. It's really low. Really, really low. Alright, we're about to go have some fun now that I have inhaled a bunch of flies. See you guys in the Roman underworld. Pass that to me, bro. Here we go. Ah. More mysterious tunnels. Now, when we were trying to figure this stuff out, and my buddy Alan was as well. Apparently, they did use this during the Second World War as a shelter. But as far as its original purpose, it's a mystery. Oh, I missed you coming through. <laughs> <laughs> no, <fun. laughs> Prime content, mister. Pretty, so. <laughs> well, me coming out that hole earlier wasn't pretty, bro. I'm over here <laughs> thinking I'm, I'm, I'm still in shape. I am not in shape. That might be Roman. Pottery? Mm. Yeah. It looks, it looks skinnier than a ceiling tile. Yeah. <laughs> So, like I was saying, as something comes running out towards us. <laughs> I hope not. Yeah, right. Fuck. Over here, we can start walking. Oh, nice. But once you get in, it looks Roman. These big ass bricks. So it's like something they built. Maybe like a secondary aqueduct system. Guys, I welcome comments of guesses of. That's the thing about history in the Balkans is it's not always so easily figured out. 
I said we go straight first. Yeah. Uh, it branches off here to the right and to the left. I'll leave a link to my buddy Alan's channel in this description, guys, because he's the one that told me about this place. Yeah, like branched. It, it, it seems like it was almost some kind of water or sewer system. I mean, that's like the least cool way to explain it. But sometimes that's just what it is. But those tunnels underneath the arena were definitely used for something interesting. But I didn't want to leave you guys hanging in the video. So I figured we go find this stuff as well. That goes back pretty far. Really? The one on the right does, not the one on the left. We have some bones here. What did you find? Look at that. This like a piece of a jaw. Yeah, looks like from a lamb goat or a goat or a lamb. Perhaps a Roman goat. No. Well, back here is just more rocks and stuff. You want to give it a go? Yeah, we could. I can go first if you. I can take it out. Yeah, go ahead and take it. Might as well, because I wasn't expecting that to go back. Uh, it's uh, going deeper again, I think, in the end. Yeah. All right. Shit. Uh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, this is Roman definitely. What? <laughs> this is the one that people are always like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> like, you guys are idiots. Like, I know. I know we are. I really hope we don't end up in some guy's uh, <laughs> basement. <laughs> yeah, we can beat him up. <laughs> what the fuck? Is that what? back the way we came? Yes. It go it's yeah, crisscrossing. So it's, like, it's like a yeah, it's like a it's like a grid. Yeah. I've seen stuff like this before like on YouTube. Yeah. Uh they when they build stuff like this, it's either a storage unit or a uh, really big well. Like there are pillars inside and there is water sitting between them. Like there are a lot of them in uh in Istanbul. You might be right about that. Yeah. So it looks like a storage unit, but it's on the river, so I think this used to be a big cistern now. Yeah, that would make more sense. Yes. Well, let's go back to the ones that open up a little bit more, and then we can see. You can go there. I, you can go over there. <laughs> I will go over there. <laughs> <laughs> Always good times, would you bro? Always good times. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Oh shit. What'd you find? Another way out? Um, it used to be. Yeah. This is like a first one. You can see through it, but there's no way you can crawl. Yeah, it's full of dirt. That one is collapsed. What is this? I don't know what's there. Are you... Oh, fuck. Did look... For a like second... A I think that used to be a light. Dude, this, for a second it looked like an old German paratrooper helmet, but... Yeah. <laughs> that would have been... <laughs> I think this is where cables used to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. this used to be a light. But that dude, if that was a German parachute around, that would have been like uh, the fucking find of the. That would have been our best find. Mm -hmm. We got a slug that made his way back here somehow. Hold this for a sec. Now it's a tetanus helmet. <laughs> Guten Tag. 
Vou tentar. Ah. If you ask me, this was a water storage. That's what I think the most likely explanation yeah. is. They but kept probably kept the river going in to right. keep the water as fresh as possible. Right, right. But when the river dries, there's still water. I think that's the idea. Smart shit, bro. Yeah. Or it's a secret German paratrooper. <laughs> <laughs> we can always hope. Falschemjager. I think we are almost back to where we came in. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Oh, look, dude, look. Looks like there's a hole here. I don't know if it's a collapse or what. What? There's a hole here. Must be collapsed. Hold, yeah. hold this for a second. Alright. <laughs> Can you stand up in it? That's what I'm saying. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are they bugs up there? Okay. <laughs> Let me see that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I should have had the camera around my neck. <laughs> it was just these tree roots, bro. It felt like somebody's finger on me. <laughs> That's a bit of excitement, though. There's like these tree roots hanging down. I think that's the only thing. Oh, uh, keeping this together yeah because uh, it's, it's gotta be i mean it's obviously a millennia and a half at least because this is all roman construction uh, uh in these arches the way they put those bricks there yeah oh dude oh no this is also uh that's bone a, yeah from a goat i think or something well, like it's that. Uh, something bigger i think yeah uh, this is uh too big for a goat. goat it has a thinner big. legs. Yeah, it it's got a thinner shaft, but the wider this uh, joint. This is something bigger, I think. Maybe a human. Maybe a human. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't I don't know what it so. is, but I've it, seen these before in these sites, though. Yeah. I've seen stuff like this before. Uh, I don't think that's a human. It's not a goat, it. but it's something maybe a little bit bigger, maybe a donkey or. A yeah, horse. right. Maybe I don't care. No, let us know in the comment section, guys. Yeah, right. that's better spread. Right. This seems to be a much bigger than the rest. My friend mentioned... There's an exit up here. Oh, no way. Yeah, I think this is like a well. It's not collapsed, it was built. Oh, no way. Oh, shit, it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, though. Yeah. This is either an old well, or my friend also mentioned that. They were sheltering down here in the Second World War. So maybe it's even something they built to get in here quickly. Maybe. So technically this might be a bunker. Might be used for it, yeah. Look around in these in this in this rubble first. Maybe we'll find some old stuff. Uh, I think I recognize this. That's an old fence thing. Right? I saw this. This is uh do you know those uh sewing machines? Yeah. You oh the the stand for that? Yeah, uh they're similar to this. Maybe they came down here and they were sewing while the bombs were dropping. <laughs> yeah. I'm really surprised that the archaeologists are not digging this up. Bro, we are. We are. Race's archaeology team. <laughs> well, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Because we sure did. 
I appreciate you watching as always. Like I said, do that typical YouTube stuff for me. Like and subscribe. Try not to get ate by these fucking flies. <laughs> <laughs> Until There's the next too one. many of them. Peter must say. Fucking mouthful of flies. <laughs> Anyways, that was fun.